Okay, so this is a follow-up to um, a tutorial I made a while ago. I've had a request to add a back and a, um, a next and a previous buttons to the audio streaming um, tutorial uh, to the audio streaming app that I created in the audio streaming tutorial. Um, if you recall, this was an, an app that streams uh, MP3s from a web server and so I just added these two buttons simply just dragged and dropped uh, two buttons onto my uh, storyboard and really just replaced the text with uh, three um, greater than signs in one direction for the next and less than signs um, for the previous okay and then I simply clicked on my split screen here and hold down the, held down the control key to create um, two IB actions, and those are right here: next button and prev button. Prev but short for previous button. Okay, so um, as you see, when I mouse over here, that refers to each of the buttons there. And next, I went into my view controller M and did a little coding, really just in those buttons. So if you um, if you recall. We have an array called um, songs, which holds the songs that are on our server. Um, so that is how far we're going to be able to go forward before we wrap back around and make it equal to zero, right? Um, I already have a little counter that I was using called count, and I'm going to use that. Um, so we have this uh, next but IB action, and this is the main code that I entered here. I increment our count, and if count is greater than songs count, which remember that's the name of our array, um, less than one, um, because uh, once it's greater than that, then it's um, greater than the amount of songs that are in the array, and so then we should make it, um, well, I could do one of two things. I can make it equal to zero, so it wraps around. Um, but you know what, I probably will just do that. Or I could just make it so you can't go past that last song. Um, so either one you want to do. And the way I have it here is it's so that you can't go past the last song. It's just if you keep hitting next, it's going to stop at the last song, which is actually not a bad way to do it, I guess. Um, and then I just kind of, every time we forward the song, we're going to stop the music. So this was, I already had this in here from previous tutorial. Um, if you hit the stop button, we the song's not over. So that's equal to no, but we are stopping the music, and then we're um, calling our audio player dot stop. Okay, um, and really I just do the same thing in the previous button, where I decrement the count button. I don't let it go below zero, um, and then we just play the song that is uh, related to that spot um, in the song's array list uh, array that correlates to wherever count is. Okay, and I think that's pretty straightforward. It's really nothing too complicated. And if we bring this up, you'll see that when I show the songs, I could go to the next song, uh, go to the next one, go back. So the buttons work pretty well. It doesn't let us go past that song. So, perfect. All right, let me know if you have any questions, but uh, like I said, it's a pretty straightforward tutorial about how to add um, next and previous buttons to your audio streaming app.